And benvenuti, fellas and bellas all over the world. Welcome to another episode of the Nazi Rant. I am Rob Fitt, joined by our co Michael, the vicar of his dubious, Rafa Rizzo. What's up, Rafa Bizarro? Ciao, hello, how are you? And hello to all our viewers in the chat as well as our audio listeners. Let's get this rant on the road. But before we do... Show your support by subscribing to our YouTube channel and be sure to give this episode a like. That's right, guys. Watch us grow. Please, please give the show a like. Do it now. I'll give you a moment before we get into it's the not good that stuff. Hard. It's not no, that hard. I it just really isn't. It. I just did it now. I just yeah. did it. Sometimes I go on my personal crowd. I unsubscribe and subscribe, unsubscribe and subscribe, just, just for fun. I mean, try it out. Do it. I mean, you, you're watching. It's just watching. The, the press of a button. It's not even a button. It's a screen. Just ta- just tap it, Little tap it. You don't have to smash it, like I said a couple weeks ago. No, don't smash gently, it. Just gently touch caress it. it. Yeah, just caress, caress, caress the like, button. caress the like caress. button. Smash the subscribe button. Maybe smash. Yeah, that. there you go. Smash yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, great show today, guys. Um, coming off a win against Salernitana this weekend. Uh, big news coming out with, with out of the Juve camp with getting deducted 15 points, man, and the implications to the season. We'll talk about that. We're going to have our beast of the match as well. Um, and then a couple of random things. We want to take some questions from the uh, live chat tonight and see what you got to say. And we're going to make a great show out of it. Uh, we'll make the announcement real quick. Now, next week, we will be announcing our beast of the quarter. That's right. We are halfway through the season. We had Frank and Guisa who won the first quarter beast uh, and we are going to see who's going to win the second quarter beast. You can leave your prediction in the comments here on this video or even on Twitter if you want. We can talk about it, but uh, definitely, definitely watch out for that. Rafa. Yo. Let's go into the chat real quick because we got a few people that came in already. Uh, T6 minus day. That's right, guys. Big B coming up this weekend on the 29th. We got like massive amounts of napoli club by massive i may mean five but for us that's huge uh coming up this weekend uh it's gonna be so i really really can't wait to meet all you guys man i really like this is so exciting for me game apart roma apart whatever i'm just happy to meet everybody right Rafa? right 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 and some of them are coming in on friday some of them are coming in on saturday um unfortunately i can't make it to any of those pre-meets i will see everybody sunday at the game at the meet um, and maybe hopefully there's time that we can hang afterwards and, you know, maybe get together or what have you, uh, I'll be available for the rest of the day that day, but, um, I can't wait to ha- to just, it's going to, it's going to be crazy. We're going to pack Ribalta out, uh, Napoli club, Toronto, Napoli club, Philly, um, DC Parteno Bay. Um, who else? Obviously us at Tri-State, Napoli, mm. NYC. Brooklyn wants to come. We have a, a guest coming in from England who's going to be there. It's a, it's going to be pretty crazy. And then, the um, uh, you know, yeah. And then uh, the, the rumor, the big rumor has it that uh, representatives from Serie A and CBS will be there again. Oh, yeah. The big time rumor is that they may send a crew from CBS. Mm. So, 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 um, we're working on that right now. Nothing is finalized, but we're working on it. And it's, uh, it's going to be pretty big. It's going to be pretty big. Uh, big game. It's, uh, the Derby del Sol, it, right? Yep. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, Roma is flying pretty high right now. They're, they've got yep. their ducks in a row. I just had the privilege of, uh, joining, um, Wayne, uh, Right. Uh, uh, Wayne in Rome um, for uh, his show on YouTube. Check it out. Um, you check my uh, Twitter. You'll see that um, the link to that is there. But uh, that was a lot of fun with Wayne. Wayne is a really cool dude. Um, yeah, check those things out. Um, fun part. Uh, w- w- I just lost my train of thought, but um we were we were talking we were talking to some of the guests in the chat room but right um, oh what i was gonna say about the meet guys that we i mean we have people coming from new jersey connecticut listen guys if if you're traveling from outer state and you're driving and you happen to pull into the rest stop please and if you see any romanista please no fighting okay guys yeah don't (laughs) Don't fight at the gas stop. It's all right? not Just the Autostrada del Sole. Right. Don't, don't, don't. There's no need for that. Let's yeah. let's let the Italians deal with that. Right. 
Yeah, no fighting, guys, all right? Be peaceful at the rest stops when you're getting gas at your local Sunoco. Don't throw any kinder bars at each other or anything like that, please. Uh, funny comment. It was the first one. I like to read out the first one. Because I don't know why. It's becoming a tradition now. But Salvatore de Brita, first in line today. He says, cold front sweeps northern Italy as Milano hits negative three today <laughs> with temperatures dropping as low as minus 15 at the elements. I love it. I love it. The negative three comment was towards Inter, as today Inter lose to Empoli, 10-man Inter, um, which means Napoli are 13 points ahead of Inter, who sit in third place. Uh, Lazio played Roma tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. Um, and uh, if Lazio win that game, Napoli are 12 points ahead in the race of Serie A for the, for the Scudetto, Ooh, which is nuts. Good, absolutely, just, absolutely nuts. Just seeing 50 huge, up there makes me happy. Yeah, man. Oh, huge result. Huge result today from Empoli. And also, um, that negative 15 comment was indeed – Reference, uh, reference towards Juventus getting docked the fifteen points, but in all actual, actual in all actuality, I feel like Kupo from last week. Um, mm -hmm. Juventus are actually twenty seven points behind us right now. So <laughs> <laughs> I just I that. laugh at that because that's just I mean who would have known right who would have known what planet. On what planet is Napoli 27 points ahead of Juventus, albeit by the 15-point deficit? Yeah. But when you think about that, right, even if, let's just say because, and we'll get into this further later, yeah. but but should Juventus get that overturned, we're still 12 points ahead. So yeah. that's like the worst-case scenario is that they get it overturned, but we're still four games ahead of them. It's nuts. It's nuts, Rafa. It's crazy. It's nuts. And, and you know what? Every bookie from this summer – Oh, we're looking geez. for new jobs right now. Yeah, they should looking be looking for new jobs right now, guys. So anyway, yeah, they should be. They should be doing Enzo a, Esposito. Uh, uh, <laughs> they, should, they, should be, they should be updating their resume on. Uh... Yeah, yeah. They, they, right. They're definitely uh, anyone from What's the, the site that you get your, your resume. What is that? Oh, man. Indeed. Anyway. Or... Indeed. Yeah, indeed. indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. You were wrong. So anyway, indeed, you suck. <laughs> indeed. You suck. Uh, Enzo Esposito asks, who's. All going to Rebolta. Enzo, everybody. If you're you not know? going, <laughs> you're missing out, brother. Everybody is going. Everybody's man. going to Rebolta. It's going to be the who's who of Napoli meets. I swear to not God. Not for nothing. Quinton's coming. But it, Quinton's uh, coming. Uh, it's official. He's going to meet Quinton's coming. Quinton's from down south, right? Atlanta? Down south. Uh, down Atlanta right now. Yeah, Originally from Atlanta? Virginia. He Virginia, works in, yeah. in Atlanta now, so he lives Bro, there. Bro, he's coming. Yeah. I think the only who's person not, not going coming, to Yeah, I think the only person not going is Carmelo Fratezo, who's he, – he's he's our uh, – isn't he our Australian? Uh, yeah, um, but that's yeah. a long he plane probably ride. Just so we'll, him. We'll, give him yeah. a, we'll, give him a, we'll give him a pass on that one. You know? <laughs> well, he'll be there in spirit with us, right? Yeah, right? he Carmelo, will. Carmelo, he'll be there in spirit with us. Oh, uh, man. The, yeah, it's going to be nuts, guys. You got to come. You got to come. Uh, You know, listen. Get there as early as you can because space is going to be limited. Um, and uh, the, the Rebalta meet is on the 29th, just to make it clear to everybody. I see Jerry in there asking. Uh, it's the 29th against Roma. It's this Sunday. Uh, kickoff 245, obviously. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be great. I, 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 I can't wait. I can't wait to see everybody. Speaking of Kamali's in, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to him real quick. Kamalo Frazetto from Down Under. Ask us if Lazio win tomorrow and we beat Roma, can we start to say we are going to win the Scudetto? I mean, I, I I'm okay with saying it already. You know, uh, um, okay. even if Lazio get a point against Roma, you know, I mean against Milan, um, it's it's eleven points. It's twelve points if they win. It, 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 if if Milan win, it's nine. It's comfortable. I'm comfortable with nine points. It's three matches. Um, you know traditionally you want to be at, at, as l least superstitious as possible. And like, or you want to be, you know, traditionally ne Neapolitans are superstitious, right? So, so they don't want to say it, but, but when you hit 50 points at the break and you're that long, like, I mean, not the break, but the halfway point. Right. And they're either, you're either guaranteed to be nine points or 12 points ahead at the halfway point. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, you know, listen, it's 
destiny is in our hands and it will be for the rest of the season. And it will be our Scudetto. I can say it. It'll be our Scudetto to lose. And, you know, you, now is when you start to like really feel it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think a big statement would be if Napoli win against Roma too. I, I do because again, Roma's a team that's, that's, that's coming up. I mean, not coming up, but like, like they've struggled a little bit this season, but they're finding their stride. They're getting yeah. it. Dubal is okay. Tammy, Tammy's, Tammy's coming Tammy. back around. Yeah, right. you know. So like Mourinho has them playing, um, but you know, so were Juventus, right? Juventus had the same, you know, momentum going in eight, eight, you know, eight games unbeaten, all clean sheets, mm-hmm. and we stuffed five past them. So Napoli are going to get up for these big games, and I think uh, it's safe to say that if Napoli do beat Roma, then yeah, you can lock it in, man. I think I, I just do. I think it's a lock, man. I I just can't it's see it. Any team, team right? not just Napoli, I can't see any team slipping as uh, you know losing a twelve point lead, uh, you know, at the half. I, I just don't see it. Uh, Anthony Navarro. Well, I guess we were kind of answering that. Anthony Navarro asked how we feel about this Roma game, man. I mean, all in all, I feel, I feel, I feel good. That's the thing. I feel good about Napoli, no matter what. Yeah, bro. Like I am just not worried about anything. Now, I'm not trying to gas up my head or anything. I'm not trying to like get ahead of myself. But Mm -hmm. listen, Napoli deserves credit. They -hmm. deserve our trust. They deserve our faith. I understand the past. But we need to look forward because this is certain we are certainly witnessing history. We are witnessing so much this season that we've never seen before. And I think off that alone makes me feel good about the whole campaign. You know, can we drop points? Yes. You know, is it possible against Roma? Certainly a possibility. I mean, these teams are going to show up no matter no matter what. They're going to show up. They're going to give Napoli a challenge. But again, they just deserve our faith. So uh, how do we feel, Anthony, you ask? I feel pretty damn good. And I'm going to feel mm-hmm. even better when I get to meet all of our friends uh, at Rebalta, uh for this meet. I'm super excited about it, no matter what. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very, very excited about it. Um, you know, we always... We you always like to get together with, you know, like-minded people, friends, and, and, and supporters of the same same team and all that and to do so where like people are legit traveling you know they're spending money to come see us they're spending money to come hang with us to 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 get an experience to further their club but to also meet new people you know this will be the first time a lot of us will have met met each other and and it's it's um it's really cool it's just a really cool concept and you know what better way to do it than to do it with uh you know the the rafts, the two rafts, right? We're we're gonna be there. We're the life of the party. You know that, bro. Oh man, the, the tri-state Napoli, everybody, man. We just love this. I'm looking that. forward to. I just want I just want us to score some goals because yeah. I'm looking forward to to doing the Detribel Bellini call with Carmine, who with does Car- it oh, for epic. he does it for the Toronto club. So him and I together, you know, we it's it's, it's a più forte, you know, mm. più forte. So. Oh, it's we're, we're gonna we're gonna be place is gonna shake and rumble it's gonna be awesome we're gonna show them what we're all about guys we're gonna Mm -hmm. show them what we're all about that's what we're gonna do and why everybody needs to be there definitely daniel Vergera. i'm gonna read this out because he's always consistent and he always says this and i and i love uh just putting it out there but daniel i won't be saying it until the trophy is in our hands okay i know and i see another comment he says i have faith in this team i've just been hurt too many times guys I I I I i get it the past, you're right, Ralph. You brought it up. The past, I get the past. But but this is a different team. This is a different team. And that's all. I'm going to say that to the end of the season. This is a different team. This is a different situation. It's a different set of players. It's a different manager. It's a different team. We got this. We got <laughs> so, this. All right. So get this. My brother just gives me, he hands me a note. He wanted me to say something. He's like, he hands you home. a note. Yeah. <laughs> It's Joe, right, Joe? It's, it's Joe. Joe. Yeah, my, he hands me, you know, like a producer note. He wanted me to make a comment. <laughs> this just in. in this just <laughs> Wait a minute. In, wait a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> hold ding, on. Ding, 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 I've just ding, been ding. handed a note here. <laughs> hold on, folks. Breaking <laughs> news. Real life. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. He said, invite Roman Romanisti as a solidarity to oh. uh, what? Uh, to to be against violence. You know, that's a great idea, man. And it, and yeah. I, I think if we didn't have 600 people coming. Around, yeah, right. 
<laughs> no, that would Joe, be a Robin good idea. Said if we didn't, if if it would be good if we didn't have six hundred people showing up. Basically, we would love to invite the Romanisti, but there's no seats for them, and we're not giving up hours. So, sorry. well, here's the thing on on Wayne's show today. He said. Oh, and if you're a Romanista, you know, uh, why don't you come, go go to Ribalta, crash the party? And I was like, yeah, yeah, everyone's welcome. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, I don't know. If we're not. We're definitely not going to. If we're going to be turning people away, it's fellow Napoli fans. I right. don't know if we're going to let Romanisti in, you know? True. But, you What's know, it listen. 245, right? 245? Yeah, 245. Right, Romanisti, very... be there about 215. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's a great idea, and I invite Roma. Roma, I think there's a fan club in New York City. I think Wayne is part of it, but I would love to like get together with them. Maybe even after the game somewhere. There's Wayne right here. He's in here. He's in. He's Wayne's watching. in. The, Wayne's in the um, house. Where is he? Yeah, he's right there. there Wayne Rojo. Hey, Wayne. Sorry about <laughs> in advance. <laughs> no, but thanks for coming in, man. Awesome. Show again. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Yamujin. Yamujin. Yeah. Is is Wayne oh, in New York? Man. Wayne, you in is, New York? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. You should Actually, it's a funny that. story. He's gonna be well, at Wayne Gore is... Mountain. Wayne is gonna be at Gore Mountain up by me in the Adirondacks. It's like a 20 minute drive from my house on Saturday. I tell him, you need to come down and get a haircut from me. And he goes, ah, I just went today. I if I, if I knew. If I knew that, I would have told him to wait and come see me for a haircut. We could have had a nice – Wayne, listen, you're in here. My, here's here's what I want you to do, okay? I will tell you where I am located on your way up to Gore because you have to pass us. I want you to take a little detour. It's right off the exit. I want you to stop in. I want to get some pictures with you. Bring some Roma stuff. I have my Napoli stuff. I want to get a photo op, and I want to show the world – Napoli and Roma can get along. <laughs> yeah, right. Exist, right. I'm gonna <laughs> hit you up, Wayne. I'm hitting you up after this show. I'm hitting uh, you up. I got you. We should do. We should make a skit. I'm telling you, at the local gas station, and, and, and mm -hmm. really like, we should troll the Italians. Uh, yeah, in Jersey City, I can see the Hudson River. Yeah, man, you should, Rain. If you got nothing else to do, it, it would actually be a pleasure for you to hang out with us and watch this game because all in all, it's a good time. Ask Kupo. She loved it, so you'll love it, yeah, too. Yeah, she had a great time. You might not love the result, but, you know, who knows? <laughs> let, me, let me shut up, or else I'm going to have to eat my words and apologize to Wayne. Uh, I wonder if we could do, like, a bet. What do you think? Like, like uh, you know, loser has to wear the other team's jersey or something? Are we down? Oh, well, I'm not going to go that far. I don't know You're if not? I'm going to go that far. Nah, Sorry. I don't think I'll, so. No, no I'll we'll wear see. it. We'll see. Oh, you will. You wear it. I mean, listen, if we want to make Roma it used to have I, I actually do like Roma's colors because they're the color of my like youth soccer club. Um maroon and, and the red, right? Um, I do like the colors, but I, I really liked Roma had some really dope kits back in when they won the scudetto and, and they had Kappa. There was this one especially that they wore in the Champions League that was half blue and half half of the orange. That shirt was fire. I really like that shirt. And plus, I think they came out with like this all navy one too. It was really dope. Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, Wayne, I'm gonna hit you up after this. We'll we'll talk. Um, we'll definitely have to connect because you're so close to where I am in, in you know this Saturday, and and that that would be dope. Uh, but hey, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's start talking about why we're here, right? Uh, yeah, Salernitana, right? The, Salernitana, the, the aftermath. Not believe the win. aftermath, do, man. Do nothing yeah, for sure. Do nothing. Uh, in Salerno, mm -hmm. which is like a few minutes car ride from Napoli, but also without the away with the away section closed, right? Because now we've seen right. for two months Napoli fans can't travel and uh, Roma. Roma fans can't travel. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so the, the the away sectors have been closed for the next uh, two months, and this was the first game for Napoli. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, the goal, uh, goal by Di Lorenzo, um, right at the stroke of halftime. And I, I said it too on the buildup. I said we need a goal now, and it came, which was great. Um, but then um, Austin Men right in the second half, as it started, like like you know, two goals, one right at the end of the half, one at the beginning of the half. Wrap it up. See you later. Wasn't pretty. Wasn't amazing. But it was uh, the result that we needed. These results against little teams are super necessary. They're so big. Because we would go and win five one against Juventus, and then it would be super Napoli to like lose 
you know, in Salerno or Thai in Salerno or some bullshit, right? Um, you saw. The I, I always blame the weather. It, it was raining again, wasn't it? For that, for that. Yeah, it rained again. Yeah, yeah. The I'm telling you, hasn't been bad news for us, man. We, it's just maybe yeah. for soccer players in general, any sports players really, but I definitely see a drop, a, like almost like a little dip in quality when Napoli are playing in the rain. I hate the rain. And if anybody knows in the Discord, like again, this has been the ongoing joke, but you know. Not always yeah. crazy about the weather, man. Sure. Like you could definitely see sure. the the kicks are not as accurate, they're not as fast, the passes right. are not as crispy. But again, it's a weather thing. No excuses. And we want take it. Yeah, but well, don't get me wrong. I mean, we, we we bossed the game all game. Not not for not we did. We bossed it. But it wasn't the free flowing, you know, you know, beautiful play that you always see. You know what I mean? It wasn't. Uh, oh, Ossiman also netted, but uh, he was offside, um, mm -hmm. which was really nice finish actually. Right in the it right was in Ochoa's uh, uh, near side, which was crazy. Yeah, see, Napoli Club Toronto comes in dominating game, seventy five possession, two goals. Is it good as it gets? It's true, it's but you know, it wasn't a performance a la Juventus. That's that's what we're trying to say. And uh, you know, the Coppa Italia match midweek. You know what I mean? We probably should touch <laughs> on that too. Napoli out of the Coppa Italia. We did a spaces right after on our Twitter, which was really dope. We're gonna do a lot more of that if we can't come on. We'll do a space. Um, Ralph, maybe we'll keep the audio to like post onto the, the, sorry, the, the audio that was podcast. my first, no, 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 we listen, we had a few kinks to break out anyway. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's all good, but, but yeah, look for us on spaces. If we, if there's a midweek game or a game after match that we can't like cover on Monday nights or what have you, we'll come in, but yeah. Um, um, Ralph, I want to you know, read a comment got, here from, we got it done. Go ahead. Sorry. From Antonio, because it's definitely something worth to mention. Uh, Antonio. Aranante. Mm -hmm. uh, that save from Moret was a game changer, Ooh. he says. Uh, if that goal goes in, it could have went the other way. Uh, we're talking about the one that Piantic one took, right? right? It was like a giveaway uh, from Dilo, and then yeah, yeah. It, well, it was, it was, it would have made it two one. It would have made it two one with a little time left. So yeah, I I get that for sure. Med uh, uh, Medit does get a touch on it. Like at first, as I was watching it, I didn't see a touch, mm -hmm. but you could tell from like the replay. Just the tip of his fingers. Yeah, he caught the ball, and if he doesn't catch that ball, if he doesn't like when I say catch, I mean touch. If he doesn't make a touch to that ball, it's going straight in. His oh, yeah. touch, his touch redirected the ball and hit the hit the post. Right, and and it, it, right across the face of the line of the goal, it, it, crazy. One of those FIFA things where, like, you get frustrated at FIFA hitting the crossbar, right? Hit the, hit the, hit the post, it, it goes it. right across the line, you know. But uh, yeah, definitely a game game changer, and it's and you know without giving away too too much because I'd really urge you all to go watch Wayne's show. But he asked me who the unsung hero is, and I chose Medet this season so far. An unsung hero is Medet because I think that he doesn't really get too much like praise for the job he's done so far versus what we expected out of him in the beginning of the season. So for me, that's my, my unsung hero. The first half of the season is, is Alex Medet. Totally. I mean, I, I posted on Twitter, uh, guy town says Moret top three keeper in the league. I'll leave this up here while I talk about him. You know, I, I question a couple of visibilities. Now, some people got really mad at me. They thought I was throwing them under a bus. I was like, no, listen, I'm just, holding the guy accountable. I want to make sure he is confident mm -hmm. in his save selection and he's making the right moves because mm -hmm. one of his one of his biggest strengths that I liked was that he was a great reaction. Save, always. You know, he's you know, been, he, he has always been that. Always has been that. Yeah. And lately, he's been like shut down with that. I mean, he saved – you know, a shot from that was practically an own goal from Rachmani. I right, mean, my, right. The speed at two of my one, reaction. At two one, at, at two, two one. one before the before right before the half too. If if Napoli go into that dressing room, to, uh, uh, leading two nil, and then they come back for two two, then you're looking at a different second half, different man. ball game. Uh, oh I'm yeah, hundred percent for sure. For he might have saved the game then too. He saved, yeah. possibly saved the game uh, against Salernitana as well. This is what I want to see, and he's more confident on his feet. Uh, he is more confident in his decisions. He is, you know, spot quick with those reaction saves. These are the great things about Moret, and now he's starting to show them. And I'm, you know, 
now he's kind of easing back into our hearts. And some people said like, oh, you know, he didn't deserve it. Listen, man, like when you're not when 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 you're not up to your par, like you're gonna get it. You know, you're gonna catch it. Doesn't matter what you do in your life. If if you're just not up to par, you're gonna catch it. And that happens, you know, and sometimes you need it because those those are the little things that are gonna push you. If you listen, if you say what you say about Morel, let's just say he he's watching all of our Twitters, all right, and then and then uh, he sees our tweets that are against him, and then he starts crying and he goes into his little shell, and then he, he you know, he he does not perform the way he's supposed to. Then one can say, like, hey, look at this guy. He, he's not even up to the task. I mean, you gotta be up for that criticism. You gotta be up for that 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 kind of critical uh, analysis uh, uh, of your play. It's gonna happen. But when you can take in all that and then perform, that's what makes players great. Is those guys who can accept that pressure, right. overcome it, and and put out a performance. And now now he's starting to solidify himself into that position. And um, I'm super happy for the guy, no matter what. And I was always cool. Exactly. Right? I never had beef with the guy. Question him, never had beef with him. But anyway. Well, and also, uh, you know, and in the same vein with the goalkeeper, right? Um, mm -hmm. Well, let's read this first from Daniel. Medet's bread and butter has always been reaction saves. The rest of it was lacking. Credit to him. He's been great this year, aside from a couple moments. Yeah, but the couple moments, I agree. The couple of moments you speak of didn't cost us a match. It could have. Uh, remember the one versus Bologna could have cost us a match, but uh, we had taken care of it. And that's that's another thing is, you know, the reliance on the rest of the team. Um, and Cal says, for me, Medet's the best keeper in Italy right now, but even the best need a little help, right? So we had Sidigu, who was to provide some experience and what have you. It just didn't work out half the season. He's going to Fiorentina. That's happening. And um, we have actually signed. Well, the the uh, medical, I believe, is tomorrow. Pierluigi Golini, formerly of Atalanta and Tottenham, was spending his time at Fiorentina. Now we're taking him for the rest of the season on loan, and there's an option for 24, and he's going to be the backup to Medet because Medet's going to sign a new deal as well. So mm -hmm. our goalkeepers are going to be Alex Medet and Pierluigi Golini. Two of Italy's top goalkeeping prospects from when they were younger, and Golini is uh, actually has been part of the Italian national team. This is insane. I don't think we've ever had a time where we had two great goalkeepers aside from when we had Ospina and Medet, right? Um, but this is this is an amazing, amazing news uh, p bit of news. Uh, and I think he's the right person because you never know. If Medet goes down, what happens, right? Um, we need sure. to have someone who's help. quality to help us out. And, and and we've done that. So another feather in the, in the ADL Juntoli cap. Uh, Vincenzo Batillo says, uh, he was the only player I was worried about going into the season, but he's grown a lot and done very well so far. Now, mm -hmm. if anybody knows Vincenzo the way we do, this is a very big statement from him because he really was not rating Moret at all. Super one. Sorry, Vincenzo. I'm not trying to no. throw their bus, pal. You're my buddy. Is Vincenzo going to be – Is are you coming, Vincenzo? I don't know who's coming. No, Vincenzo's not going to be here this week. Oh, he's not going to go. No, okay, okay. But – but we're going to uh, And I know it's in the chat. We have a chat and 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 right, we're going to light it up for him. I don't read the whole thing. <laughs> I need to know who's him. coming. I know I know Carmine's coming. I think I believe Sereno's coming. Um I don't remember who else is coming, but uh, it it would be great to see everybody. Um yeah, yeah. That's a that's a pretty strong remark from Vincenzo because um, you know, he he was uh definitely vocal about Medet as most of us were. You know, Vin Hayden, my right. <laughs> I got <laughs> tired of yeah. All right, guys, let's do the beast of the match because I think we, we can kind of round off this uh, this game with that, Rafa. Uh, yeah. You know, to everybody in the chat right now, let us know who your beast in the match was. Um, I, I don't know how we were pretty convinced on this one, Rafa, weren't we? I mean, this I was think like we were. This was one of those. Yeah, that's the guy. I think we were in this one. Wasn't so it's much. funny because because you know um, you I texted you hey did you watch the game mm -hmm. and you said yeah I gave you the answer then, yeah the name you said two 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 one word answers 
Yeah. <laughs> you said, yeah, and then you said the name of the person. The, the and name I said, of the beast. I said, exactly, and that was it. It was done. That's Don't you love it that. when that happens, Rob? <laughs> right. S- s- setting the beast of the quarter up, we were pretty – we were pretty – um we were also pretty like together on that, but that yeah. took a little more work. For yeah. this beast of the match, it was like hundred percent. You know what? Let's go for it then, guys. Beast of the match, we're about to show you yours. Uh, uh show you ours. Let's go for it. Here he is, guys. Yeah. Professor, the man himself. Crazy eyes, Mary Overy, beast of the match against Southern I'm Dom. still laughing. I'm still laughing because before you hit the video button, yeah, the almost beast, the I was going to say, you mind if you me yours? I was gonna say no, yeah, yeah. The chat showed us theirs. Now let's show them ours, you know? <laughs> you showed us yours. We'll show you ours. <coughs> Uh, yeah, oh, Mario Rui, hands down, hands down, beast of the match. Um, who else did we have as a nominee? I mean, I, I mean, I don't even know if we had someone else to say, oh, yeah, it could have been that person. Not that, not that there was anybody that like, like didn't deserve it. You know, everybody deserves, you know, when we play great the way we did, everybody deserves a, a, a shout, but I think. This was unanimous in the fact that, uh, you know, just this guy is just lights out, man. Every touch is is positive. Every movement is important. And he set up both goals. Like, like he didn't get the assist because we talk about it all the time. That we, You know, Kyle Cho doesn't do hockey assists, you mm-hmm. know. They should. Was, they should really start tracking goal. that, man. Like, yeah. like, like. It was weird because foot does mob it do it. The FIFA, the video game, I think does it. I don't know. You got like, yeah, you get like points for that in the game or something. You do. Yeah. I think if you say, yeah, you get points, but I don't think you get an assist, but, um, um, wow. Where was I going with this? Uh, Mary, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the, the, he, the the hockey goals. Foot mob. So, hockey no, foot mob, foot, mob, foot mob, for some reason, has Mario Rui with chances created one. Like, he was highly rated, don't get me wrong, for this match. Right. But he they only gave him one one chance created, which I found weird because he was, he was, he was like the guy who set up both goals, both, both of them. And um, it was it was kind of odd, but whatever. Um, you know, Foot Mob is Foot Mob is unique, and we use them, and we love them. Actually, we really do love Foot Mob. Yeah, um, and holla, we use them holla, for everything. Holla, 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 but holla, yeah. holla, 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 holla. Yeah, Mario Rhee, man. Um, I'm pulling it up right now. His rating was a uh, an eight two, right? And like I said, he had like one chance created. But most tackles in the match with two. Um, his accurate pass is 90%, 107 passes out of 119. Um, he took a shot. He's getting closer to a goal, everybody. Trust me. But he was just so, so big, man. He was so big in this match. And 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 I think we're lost without like like when it comes to him and Oliveira, they both have such redeeming qualities. But but right now, Marui needs to be on that pitch. Am I He's right, Ralph? Fire. He's on fire. He has to be. I'm going to read two comments here. Number one, somebody I mentioned about Marui uh, being the pit bull of this team, and Quinton mm-hmm. responds, "He's the pit bull of the team, Mister Zero Eight One in the house." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. For those of you who don't know, zero eight one is the yeah is the uh, novel, yeah. uh zip code anyway zero eight one worldwide uh, area, code, uh, area code. code yeah Mister yeah. zero eight one worldwide baby you know it Mary we in the house people uh Pasquale had noted and this was really funny too this was in the beginning of the game how about that kid um in the Salernitana kit giving the Wayne's World I'm not worthy bow to Mary uh, Marie before the match that was that was epic that, I loved that it. was pretty cool that Even was really really know. cool. So even the little kids know. A little yeah, kid man. knows about Mary Marie. Little kids. Um, Mary Marie, beast of the match, man. Love to see it. Love to see it. I love giving Mary Marie the beast of the match. I think I think he's got two this year. He has two. And we all know if he scores, it's automatic. 
In fact, if well, he scores in the middle of the game, I'm posting it on Twitter. Yeah, That's he's it. got Period. he's got two in the quarter. I don't know if he has two all year. I think he might have more than two. He might have three. No, yeah. I think we gave him one for the beginning of this. I'll check it. Really no, quick. I think he has two, but any either way, whatever. I mean, uh, he has two or more, <laughs> which is really good. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, like I said, for sure he has two this quarter, but um, I'll look it up really quick. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, he's got to play, man. This guy's got to play. Uh he sets he sets up goals. He he's got the good relay. Did you see that video? I I I, re, I think I retweeted it. Yeah, I did retweet it. Um, there was raw footage of after after Angisa uh, uh, sent the pass into Di Lorenzo and he scored it. There was a footage of Mario Rui and Angisa embracing and just the the joy on their uh, the joy in their demeanor. Plus Victor Osimhen coming in uh, like like through through the side of the screen. Coming in and him being so rejoiceful, and then the other guys getting over to Di Lorenzo on the other side, mm -hmm. it just gave me such yeah. Scudetto vibes. I think I think watching that a lot clip of that. alone, watching that clip alone, you could tell this team is so happy. They're so they're so on board with each other. They they get along. There's no issues. There's everything is going so right. It just has to keep going. It yeah. has to keep going. And 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 this is one of the guys that's part of it. But you're right; we're seeing more and more of that lately. Uh, the the players kind of embracing each other, being happy. When Di Lorenzo scored, I, I it almost seemed as if Victor Osimhen was more happier than yeah. than, than Giovanni yeah. Di Lorenzo was. I mean, he they all jumped for joy when Di Lo scored. But I guess what that was his first goal of the season, so maybe maybe that has to do with for, it. well, uh, uh, Serie A season anyway. Serie A season, yeah, yeah, right. And and um. You know, I'm sure they were happy for him. It's their captain, you know, all, all that good stuff. So uh, super happy to see this team like that. But speaking of teams and happiness or a lack thereof, we're going to start the second half of this show. We'll be the final segment for the show. Uh, but um, here we are again. Uh, Hold on, really quick. Sorry, really yeah. quick. Marjorie was beast of the match for match seven. Um, uh, Milan Napoli, we gave it to him. Um, and then he was beast for match 17, which was, um, um, Sampdoria, the Sampdoria okay. game. And now today. So that's three. Three. See, I knew he was there. I knew he was three. there three times. Yeah. Wow. Outstanding for that guy. Uh, happy to see it. Avanti Cosi. Now, um, for other teams, we, we saw recently in the news about this, um, point deduction from Juventus. Uh, they received, officially received uh, a 15 point deduction. Obviously there can be appeals. We'll talk about and all that. That could be reduced. Who knows? But as of right now, Juventus was handed a 15 point deduction. And I, I think what this rant is going to be about is not just them, but kind of the reactions from the fans, because I kept Ralph, I kept my, I, I bit my tongue. A whole lot because I don't like to use the account to troll or to just kind of shit on people. Uh, I, we, we obviously we try to be we try to be as logical as possible here, but you know, it, it seems like Calciopoli Part Two: Return of the Ladri, and and here here they go, <laughs> dry snitching the hell out of us. I mean, Jeez. I mean, and we're talking you know popular. I mean, the whole team just dry snitching what yeah. about them and what about them and uh -huh. this? they're always the victim they're subscription. always the victim oh my god listen you talk about napoli being emotional but look, we're emotional when you tell us that you want a volcano to fucking destroy our city and kill our kill our friends and family all right mm -hmm. we're emotional about that but you guys you guys man just out of control Let's cancel the subscriptions. You know, oh, we love our team. So and what about Napoli? And what about this? Well, look, what, well, look at the Osinum deal. Look at the Osinum deal. Bro, look at your 40 fucking deals. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, it's literally 40 to one. Yeah. Take the loss. Eat that shit. Say, man, this doesn't belong in soccer. We don't want it. Let's move. make a statement. Nobody's shitting on the players. And Rafa, I was very happy when you tweeted that out. 
uh, on on Twitter a, a couple days ago. Like, yo, nobody is blaming your players. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't care about the players. The players didn't do it. Your administration, although they they said they were they were going to accept pay deductions and who knows. Well, how listen, much they were in on but it. but here but here's the thing: is the players were trying to do what was best for the team, right? They 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 were approached by you know the board and the board was like listen we're in a little trouble we need help blah 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 so the players being loyal to juventus which you can admire like right uh, in the first calciopoli when they went down to serie b like they weren't even punished that bad this time they went down to serie b last time guys and had mm -hmm. two scudetto freaking revoked right and one of them went to their biggest rival inter right so so there were certain players, Nedved, Del Piero, Buffon, uh, a couple of other players. I think it was Chiellini. A few other players stayed uh, with the club and, you know, rode it out and, and you know, came back to City out with them and, 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 and did their thing, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, um, those players were approached by the board and said, hey, we're in trouble. We need some help. And they're willing to do what they have to do to help the club out. So as far as the players go, I don't fault them for doing what was asked of them by their by their um, you know their the board of directors, their owners, the the, the people that are in charge, right? Um, and it's all on the organization. It's the organization, right? It's not the players. It's not the results. It's not the this. It's not the. It's it's the organization is my uh, spork, you know, so dirty. And it's like, you know, the fans trying to play that they're victims. I get it. I get it. You're going to try to back your club. If somebody comes to my club and tries to say, hey, you did this and you did that, we're going to defend them as much as we can. But at the same <laughs> time, it's OK to be real. There were a couple of real Juventini on Twitter that I actually really commended for being real, for saying one, one in particular in said one in particular said Calciopoli in 06, that wasn't our fault. And 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 I disagree with that too. But anyway, he sees you know really sticking up for Calciopoli in 06. He goes, Today, this this one, this is our fault because we don't know how to how to run a company, you know, and it shows on the pitch. This is our fault. We need to pay for this, right? Boom, done. And he gets it. He gets it. But there's a lot of guys out there that don't understand why they're in trouble. It's like it's common sense. And you're uh, trying to oh. now you're trying to catch ADL on it. Right. right? That that's the shit. Uh Dante's in here. I want to just put it because you know, Dante has been on uh in our chat before. Oh uh, yes, cool. the UVA. A UVA fan as well. It's gonna be a rough season, Dante DeSanti says. Hard to be positive, but it makes my passion stronger. Fino a la fine. You know what? Like, I'm cool with that. You. If I if if that. if you I if do. you're loving your team more, you're like, hey man, you know, through this hard time, we need to we need to stick by them. We need to let the players know because ultimately they're the ones that whose heads might get affected. Mm -hmm. If you're saying, hey, I'm gonna stick by these players, guys. It's not your fault. We love you. You know, uh, play hard for us. Hey man, hundred percent. Because as Napolitani, I think we would do the same thing. But. To defend your fucking administrator, not that Dante is, by the way. Thank you, Dante, for joining us and always being super cool and super positive in here. Mm -hmm. And anybody here is welcome, you know. But to defend those rap bastards, it's like if, if, dude, if they were doing this shit in Napoli, man, I, I'd be like, get out of here. We don't want it. We don't want a dishonest way of winning. We we don't want, you know, a lack of ethics. We want to do things the right way. And and to point at us when we've been – yo, Peepo's in here. Ask him. All right, me and Peepo, we fight all the time. You know, deep down I love him, but we fight all the time. But but I remember when we always used to say Napoli ha have been like bargain bargain bin hunting for, for – for, I mean, since the beginning of the ADL ever. We've been pinching, pinching pennies and, and trying to find deals and swaps, whatever way we can. All right? So to start pointing your fingers at this one OCM deal that, by the way, was investigated and was dismissed. Like, I don't care what your allegations are. I don't care what the allegations are. The fact is, is that Italian authorities looked it over and threw it out, the, you know, threw it out the door. And now they reopen Juve and, and they caught him on the phone thing. And let me just add real quick, Juventini, I mean, not Juventini, but Juve administrators, 
Y'all need to learn how to buy like burner phones, bro. Like you gotta stop mm-hmm. talking shit on your personal man. Seriously. Like contact the local drug dealer, figure out how to find a burner phone and stop snitching on yourselves on the phones, man. Between Moji and Ben uh, I can't pronounce his name. Pat Patrick Patriarchi, whatever. Get off the uh, phone. Get off the phones, guys. Like, I don't know. You didn't learn your lesson yet, man. Get a burner phone, guys. Please. You know? (laughs) But yeah. So so the 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 way it is though, Ralph, now is that you know you you mentioned uh you know the appeal and maybe it'll be reduced. So for the appeal, the appeal is to wipe it out completely. Right now, the way it's set up is that the 15 points will either stand or be completely dismissed. So, like, it's either 15 or back to zero. You understand? Mm-hmm. So so that's the thing. And then plus with the Napoli thing, right, Osimhen, the deal, all that stuff, the Naples prosecutor decided to reopen the, the, the case. And it is reopened with a six-month six month extension. Um, so it's going to be six months before we find anything out. So like we could literally win this Scudetto and then them say, Hey, you know, you're in trouble points for points deduction, what have you. So that's, that's why we have to win by a lot, <laughs> but I, I'm, I not worried. I'm not worried about it because honestly they don't have anything. They opened it twice and they were just, dis- it was dismissed twice with no wrongdoings found on Napoli's end. And they're doing it again, I feel, to just kind of appease the rest of the league and say, okay, everyone's talking about Aussie men. Let's open that again then. Let's do it. Fine. That's only fair. Okay, sure. <clears throat> but what are they going to find? Unless they find a wiretap from ADL and he spilt everything. ADL, right. the way he runs his club, the way he keeps his ba- – balances his books, there's no way there was any wrongdoing. I will be so – like, I'm not just saying this because we're a Napoli show and a Napoli fan – I think any fan of any team besides Juventus should be surprised if they find something on Napoli. Should be completely surprised. Right. Because I I honestly, truly, I trust ADL. I trust that he has covered all his tracks the way he should. And everything is going to be fine. I do. I mean, we listen, we've been bantering. Excuse me. We've been bantering ourselves on, on how, like, ADL wins the financial fair play trophies all the time. That's great. We're balanced our books now. So if something were to come out like this, even if it hurts us a little bit, I, I would be shocked. If it takes away our Scudetto, if we win one, I'm – I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want well, to make so it – The only other time – I will do, but come on, man. Come the only on. other time I remember being docked points – um was um oh no i'm sorry two there was the whole thing with covid um <laughs> right after the covid season but in 20 i think it was 2012 13 <laughs> right where we had two points we had two points docked and we were like in the race for the scudetto with juventus at this point we had two points docked but they found that their investigation wasn't proper and ADL was acquitted of whatever the charge was. I don't remember what the charge was. I'm sure someone in here will. Uh, guys, if you remember, let, let me know in the chat. Mm-hmm. But um, we got our points back. So it was an investigation on some sort of financial irregularity somehow, some way. And we got our points back because they right. saw that we did business the way we we're supposed to. Right. Now, COVID might have changed a few things. Obviously, it changes a few things for a lot of people. But like Vincenzo here says, ADL never loses. Never. He, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And this is also something I should bring up. Season 19, right? Mm-hmm. When Ferlaino took over Napoli, he won the Scudetto on season 19. ADL is on season 19 right now. How crazy is that? And it's after Argentina won the World Cup and after we lose 1-0 to Inter uh, coming back from the break. How nuts is that? How right. nuts? That same thing happened in 86-87. Unbelievable. My thing is to the um, – and Dante, if you're, I don't know if you're still in here. If you are, say hi real quick. But the, the, the whole – I really don't like this rhetoric – about oh you know Serie A like the Juventus oh Serie A needs us you won't survive without us I mean like 
What kind of attitude is that? Now, if you say that, oh, you're the best in you're the best in Italy and, and they need you and yada, yada, yada. Why are you going around breaking the law and doing this? It's like, yeah, you need me, but I can do whatever the hell I want to you. It, it, it's just a bad vibe, man. Like, I, 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 I don't get how one can say that you're this important, yet you're going to go around and be the most corrupt. I mean, like, it, it's fucking... It, it's hypocritical. You know, it's just like a, you're like walking contradictions, man. The, the, the it, it, Giuseppe says it here. It's an arrogant attitude. Y'all need like a, the baño de humilita. Like it's gotta stop. Like you gotta stop. Like you gotta, guys, you gotta get off your high horse a little bit, man. And, and the whole, yeah, well, we got more scudettos. We don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, that was then. This is now. Save your jokes from 1987. I don't want to hear it anymore. The fact is, since the it, it's like we, we were still recovering from Cachoapoli, and the minute we get a little bit of traction, because the league's been pretty decent over the past couple seasons, the minute we get a little traction, this comes out, man. This comes out and ruins it again. And 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 it's just like stop it. Again, it's the admin, not the players, not the team, not the fans. Well, the fans, some of the arrogance. Again, there's a lot of humble people out there. And the people who have, like, Italian football podcasts, for you to come out and blatantly show your fucking yeah. uh, biasm like that, it's a bad look, bro. It's a bad look. Uh, Don't and here's do the thing. Man. Here's Don't the thing. Don't do it. Know who you are. Uh, Don't do that. Don't tell me what uh, I need to do with the subscriptions or anybody needs to do with their subscriptions, all right? Because you're going to watch the game anyway, probably on an illegal stream. And like an anonymous person said, because I wouldn't say it, you're going to – you're, you're going to, like, stand up for Juve breaking the law by breaking the law. So I, it's like, give me a break, man. Just eat it. Take the L. And there's a few other content creators who, who just came out and just refused to take the L. And when I question them, they don't want to respond back to me. When I'm giving them, when I'm asking logical questions, they don't want to get back to me. Again, I'm not going to call you out. You know who you are. Most people in here know who they are. Stop it. Get off your high horse. In fact, if anybody, I said it in the chat, Rafa. I said, this is actually like probably one of the best things that's going to happen to Juve in a while. Like, Juve needs to be broken. They just haven't been right. They haven't been the same team the past couple of seasons. Their, 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 business, their, their, their business practices have been shady. You know, if you, if you represent Italian soccer, then you need to get your shit together, man. Because, yo, know, Italy respectfully you're not in a good place dude you're just not your whole country is not in a good place right now and you need to get it together and it seems like you to have to be a part of that because you are a big club in italy that's you're probably the biggest so get your shit together man take your l refuse this type of unethical bullshit defend your team love your team you should but don't don't give me that high horse crap that crap well i don't so so let me get this straight. You you're saying here that um the league the league is suffering or Italy as a whole is suffering cuz cuz in my oh, opinion Italy is the league, the league is Italy. Italy okay, is suffering. Okay, but here's the thing, man. I don't really know if the league is suffering that much. I mean, yeah, they could do a lot of things better for sure. Um but look at look at on the pitch. I think they're doing just fine. I think they're getting players that want to play. They're getting high-profile players. <clears throat> they're keeping guys like Lautaro Martinez. Guys like Lukaku want to come back. Guys like Aussie men want to stick around. You know, they're, 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 there's... Look Fair enough. I mean, it's back. better than 2006, the league, but the country's in turmoil, bro. Well, the country's, the country's a different story. I'm talking about the league. I'm talking about claims that Juventini have... That if Juve are not in the league or at the top okay. of the league or at the papa, pa, then there's something wrong with the league and the league's gonna suffer like it's mm -hmm. some sort of freaking Juve reliant league. It's not, it's not reliant on Juve. As a matter of fact, I'm here to tell everybody that the league is probably better without Juventus at the top. The Ooh. league is more it, it's more at interesting. Yeah. At the, it's more interesting, right? Like, like, first of all, they say stuff like, like the league is suffering. Okay, well, where is the league suffering? Is it suffering on the pitch? Everybody says it's the fifth best league of the top five when actually it's the third. Mm -hmm. 
<coughs> when you talk about numbers, it's the third best of the five. It's in fourth this season because of Juventus not making it out of the Champions League group stage. It's two two coefficient points lesser than Germany this season. But had Juve done their job, it would have been in a comfortable third position. That's number one. Number mm-hmm. two, all even though they're out of Champions League, they slipped down to Europa League. All seven teams qualified <laughs> for the knockout stages of Europe. So they're all in, all of them. That's number two. Number three, when they say things like the Netherlands, England, Portugal are catching uh, – not England. The Netherlands, uh, Portugal, and uh, France are catching up to Italy. That's so factually inaccurate that it's not even – it's not France. even funny. As a matter of fact – No, no fact, Boy, bro, <laughs> bro, Italy, Italy are 12 coefficient points better than France. 15 better than the Netherlands and 18 better than Portugal, which means it's going to take miracles for those three teams to catch Italy in the coefficient rankings. And if it doesn't happen, if it does happen gradually, it would happen over the next five years. (coughs) Where on what planet is Italy struggling right now as a league on what planet? There's so much exposure there's so much work being done. And Mil- you got Inter Milan, and this season it's going to be Napoli. That's three different Scudetto winners in three years. Four if you count Juventus' last one, right? Mm-hmm. How is that a struggling league? But when Juve were in their prime Juve, right? Nine straight Scudetto, two Champions League finals, a Europa League semifinal, four straight doubles. No, the league was just perfectly fine then, right? Everything was great then, right, Juve? Nine straight Scudetti, everything is great. Suddenly, shit don't go your way, and now the league is suffering. No, you're suffering, and you're insufferable. You're making us suffer because we're trying to have a good... God forbid another team wins. God forbid somebody out of the ordinary takes a Scudetto that's not Milan, Juve, or Inter, right? But but you also did the same thing to Inter and Juve in Milan. You... God forbid they win one and the world is crashing down. The league is crumbling this and that. And the third, do me a favor. Okay. Take that notion, shove it up your ass because it's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. Everything you, you and Tini are saying, and I know who you're talking about, Ralph. I know who you're talking about encouraging people to cancel their subscriptions because I subscribe. I subscribe to him and his friends podcasts and I know, I know I'm not going to like what I hear when I hear it because he came out today. I haven't heard it yet. Yeah. I wanted to before the show so that I could rebut, but I haven't heard it yet. He invited me to listen to what he has to say, and I'm going to listen to what you have to say. I will listen to what you Where's have to say. Where's my invitation, you know but who, you, person? But, 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 but because you got to pay. I like pay you, too. To, oh, I got to pay for it. Sorry. Pay. <laughs> I, pay three, I pay $3 a month. Is it three or two? It th- uh, probably two. I pay $2 a month to listen to him and his buddies. And I'm not going to name any of their names because some of them I half like. I'm not going to name who it is. Don't do names. But you can rest assured I will listen. And how would you feel if I didn't like what you're spewing? If I don't like the content that you're putting out? If I don't agree with what you decide to talk about? And I unsubscribe from you. How would you feel? You know what I mean? Ridiculous. Yeah. Telling people to ch- ch- cancel their subscription to show the league. Get the hell out of here, man. Yes. Who the hell do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You privileged, entitled bunch of selfish, disgusting, crazy, crazy human beings. You enjoy... <laughs> you enjoy... All this success through all these years, all of it, and the minute <laughs> someone else gets a little taste of it, you want to cause all this ruckus because your damn club can't get their shit together. Call them Rafa. Nobody Pre- at Napoli, Pre- nobody at Napoli resigned from their board. And I don't <laughs> want to hear that it's not a necessarily an admission of guilt. Maybe in the court of law it's not. 
But in the card of my opinion and everyone else's public opinions, they're dirty, scummy, disgusting people that evaded jail by quitting Juventus. So go yeah, F yourself. Pretty much. Every single one of you, except for Dante DeSantis, because I like him. And we Cooper, like Dante. And a handful of other people. No, nah, there's a few good guys out there, man. Uh, I want to read a, a quick uh, comment. Uh, this is from Felix. Felix, by the way, Felix Peters joins us from Nigeria right now. What time is it in Nigeria, Felix? If you're still in our chat, let me know. What's up, Felix? Uh, but he was he he commented here about uh, you know the comparisons of the league. It was obviously a few minutes earlier in in, in the rant, but um, I'm gonna read it out because I think it's important because the EPL obviously touched you know uh, far and beyond, and and one of those places was Africa. Um, and Felix Peter says I have been watching EPL all my life, but to be honest, the Serie A has really improved. The football ideology right now is extremely attacking. So there you go. I mean, here it is. Here, this is a witness. This is somebody who is there, who, who is absorbing all of this, and who's mm -hmm. saying that, wow, man, Italian football is on the rise, you know? And How, how many I mean, times the in the last goal few scores, seasons? By the way, two top goal scorers in Italy right now Nigerian. are Nigerian. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like. But 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 not, he, he makes a great point attacking. <coughs> In the last few seasons, who was the most attacking league in, in, in the top five? This is commitment. It is commitment. We love it. It really is, Felix. You're great. Awesome. There, there's also, I want to shout out Napoli Club Nigeria. I don't know if Felix has anything yeah. to do with them. But yeah. Felix, I guess. is that you? Um, shout out to Napoli Club Nigeria, Felix. Look them up on, on Twitter. They're looking to grow. So please help them grow if you're not in it already. So, um, the past few seasons in 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 the top five of the of the European leagues, Italy has been the most goal scoring, mm -hmm. like more more so than the Premier League, more so than you know, a uh, 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 Bundesliga even. And and it's it's great, it's great. Rafa, I'm gonna get some um, clothes, Dante. Yep. Dante, ahead, what, what video? No, I'm sorry. What I was so he you put up a thing where he he said something about video that he's gonna get back at me for. <laughs> Which one was? Yeah, good old times. It's this one, I'm hoping, right? Because I've made a few videos, <laughs> Dante, about your esteemed club. We're here, oh, guys. Let's get a Fortunopoly right? going up in the uh, in the chat. Fortunopoly temporary in the chat, guys. Get the hour mark. And we're gonna get in three minutes, guys. Three minutes. I'm out. I'm out. Three minute goodbye tonight, Rob. Three goodbye. minute goodbye. All right. Um, Sounds good. But if you're still here, guys, we have a, we have a, we still have a great turnout. Please, please share our shows. Please help us subscribe. We are close to 500 on YouTube. I would, I would my goal this year is to get a thousand by the end of the year, not the end of the season, but the end of the year. I'm, it's not a full order. We're close to a thousand on Twitter, guys. Please like these shows, subscribe, add a comment, just, just share the link, share the little thing on Twitter. You know, uh, and, and it's, it's it's a big it's a big help. Pasquale, I see your question about right wings, but I'm not going to answer it right now. I'm not going to answer it right now. Uh, I, I, I think it's too soon to figure out who uh, who's going to be our right wing next year. I think a lot's going to happen over the summer. There was talk about uh, Junzoli and De Laurentiis are going to try to offer uh, a contract extension for Ozinem. Uh, raising his, I believe, what's the name? Let me get the name. I want to be legit here. Francesco Mano, uh, who reported on area Napoli.e that owes him contract possibly extended to seven to six million. Seven, I'm sorry, six to seven million uh, for the year for salary. Um, we'll see what deserves it. He deserves yeah. it. So also, everyone um, at Ribalta, Yama Belly, Yama. Be, be at Ribalta. Be at Ribalta. Yes. Please do. Please do. Guys, this is this has been really, really good. Um, Ciao, Zeno. Thank you very much for coming in. Everybody, thank you for coming in. Um, Dante says, oh, he DM'd the video to the Nobly Ran Twitter account. All right, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. It's probably one where I'm singing. <laughs> yeah, some about Juve America. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, what else did I want to say really quick before we go, Ralph? Man, I love Stay by because we have 30 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, be at Ribalta. See you then. Uh, Ralph, I can't wait to see you again, brother. Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, I can't wait to see everyone. It's good seeing you. 
Oh um, man, pleasure is mine. Papa yeah, still coming? Oh yeah, he'll be. Oh yeah, he'll be there. Yes. I'm gonna try to bring some more family, but I think it's just gonna be me and him because uh, space is limited. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. We might have to bring our own chair. I still have the Paramount pop-up chair, you know? Maybe. Oh, I'll yeah. That. So do I. Hey, we'll bring yeah, those yeah. in there. We <laughs> They'll think those. we're like the producers yeah. or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys. That would be so uh, fun. Fun show, guys. Great show again. Thank you to all the live chats and uh, people in the live chat as well as audio listeners. Rob, a great show as always. Uh, be there or be square next week at Volta for the... Uh, the, the watch party, Napoli versus Roma. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to see all of our friends, guys. Uh, but until then, Forza Napoli Sempre, Rob. Ciao, ciao. Forza Napoli Sempre. Ciao. ciao.